Hi, hi, welcome to Code.io. This is day 13 of 100 days of code. And the question for today is called greater on right side. Okay, so let me just read the question first and we'll then move on to the approach and try to code it. So here goes the question. You are given an array ARR of size n. Replace every element with the next greatest element. Element should be on its right side, right? So uh, in the array, okay, fine. Also, there is no element if there is no element to the last, replace it with minus 1. Okay. So, you are given an array and it is of size n. And you are going to replace every element in this array with the greatest element to the right of it. Right. So, it is quite simple. Uh, but the brute force approach that you would probably think of would be order of n squared. Because for every element, you are going to iterate through uh, every element to the right of it and find the largest one and replace the current element with it. But you are supposed to write this with order of n time complexity and uh, you are not required to like you are not supposed to use any extra space right so that is it so it's it's quite simple the logic is quite uh, easy to understand now we'll try to uh, see the logic and uh, hopefully we'll try to code it okay so this is the test case right let me just grab the pen okay so instead of traversing from left to right like we usually do we are going to traverse from right to left okay that is the only key point that you are going to use for this and that is probably going to solve the entire problem okay so i am just going to create a variable called gtr right meaning greater fine okay and i am going to initialize it with minus 1 okay okay so um, i have created a variable called gtr and i am going to initialize it with minus 1 i am also going to have another variable called temp wow i am really happy about my handwriting i don't know why usually it comes out very awful but today it seems to be fine okay okay so uh, we'll traverse this array and see wh what you're going to do, right? So we are starting from the end of the array, and whenever you increment the array or decrement the array, or whenever you read a new element, what you're going to do is that you're going to make a copy of it in temp, right? Okay, so you are going to make a copy of it in temp, and what you're going to do is that. Uh, let me just uh, draw another array because that would be easy for you to understand. Okay, so we have uh, 16 here, 17, 4, 3, 5 and 2. Okay. Okay, fine. So here we have the array, right? And now we are at the last element of the array and we have taken a copy of that in 2. Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to replace this last element in the array with GTR. So you have replaced 2 with minus 1. And after doing this, you're going to check GTR with temp value. Okay, so GTR is equal to max of gtr comma temp okay you will understand why i am doing this in a little bit but this is what we are going to do okay we are going to get the maximum value of gtr and temp and assign it to gtr so gtr's current value is minus one temp's current value is two uh, which is greater of both these things two right so we are going to store two in gtr okay simple Whichever element is greater to the right of it, we are going to store that in GTR and we are going to use that to replace these elements in the array. That is the logic that we are going to use. Now, since we have processed this uh, last element, we are going to move to the second last element, which is 5. Right. So, whenever you encounter a new element, you are just going to take a copy of it in temp. Right. So, we have 5 in temp. Now, what you are going to do? You are going to replace our current element with GTR and our current element is 5 and the gtr value is 2 so we have replaced 5 with 2 now you are going to reassign gtr with maximum of 2 and 5 
which is maximum of 2 and 5, 5 right so we are going to store 5 in GTR okay now we are going to move to the next element which is 3 right so we are going to take a copy of 3 in temp now the value of temp is 3 okay so uh, fine now we are going to replace our current element with the GTR value our current element is 3 and the GTR value is 5 so we are replacing 3 with 5 okay after this what you are going to do you are going to compare GTR and temp and store the greater of it in GTR now if we compare 5 and 3 it is quite obvious that 5 is greater than 3 and it is already present in GTR so you don't have to do anything you can just move to the next iteration where you will be pointing at 4 okay so whenever you meet a new number you will uh, put it in uh, temp right so now the value of temp is 4 and uh, we are just going to replace our current element with uh, GTR value so 4 will be replaced by 5 and you are going to update the value of GTR in this case you don't have to do anything because already GTR is greater than temp okay now you can just move to the next element which is valued at 17 and you will be replacing uh, like you will be taking a copy of that in temp so temp value will be 17 and our current value is 17 which you will be replacing with GTR so 17 will be replaced by 5 and you are going to update the value of GTR so whichever is greater should be present at GTR right 5 and 17 17 is greater hence GTR will be updated to 17 and we are going to repeat the same thing for the last element in the array which is 16 and you are going to take a copy of that in temp so the value of temp becomes 16 you are going to replace your current value with uh, GTR value which is 17 and you are just going to update the value of GTR which in this case uh, doesn't change and there is no use in updating it hereafter because we have reached the end of the array when you traverse from right to left right so this is what you have done you have traversed from uh, right to left and you are using a variable called GTR to keep track of the greatest element to the right of it okay and you are just replacing it with your current element and updating the value of GTR so hope you found this logic understandable now we will try to move to geeks for geeks and uh, solve this question and see if it works so here we are in geeks for geeks i will leave the link to this question in the description so you can solve this right after watching this video okay so like we already discussed i am just going to create a couple of variables one called gtr and which is going to be initialized with minus one initially and the other one called temp which can be zero fine because you will be replacing it anyways okay so as we saw in the example you are going to traverse this list from right to left right so we can just use the same for loop for that but instead of traversing from i equals 0 to i less than n you are going to traverse from n minus 1 to 0 so int i equals n minus 1 and i greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus remember to give minus minus because you are traversing in reverse right so this is the condition for the loop okay now for every new element you will take a copy of it in temp right so temp equals arr of i so you have taken a copy of it now you are going to replace your current value with gtr value so arr of i equals gtr and you are going to update the value of gtr so gtr is equal to max of gtr comma temp whichever is greater will be replaced with gtr and you are going to repeat the same thing again and again so we have given it inside the for loop and that is it the coding part is really simple once you understand the logic and now we will try to execute this and see if it works so all test cases have been passed and the code has been accepted and the time complexity for this logic is just order of n because uh, we are moving from right to right and one time and uh, fine with that okay fine so hope you understood this logic if you have any questions put them in the comments and i will get back to you and uh, see you on tomorrow's episode of 100 days of code bye for now